Welcome friends. Now we gonna see about why you always prefer noradrenaline instead of adrenaline in septic shock. Normally we got five sympathetic receptors: alpha one, alpha two, beta one, beta two, beta three. Alpha one has vasoconstrictor property. Beta two has vasodilatory property. You can remember it as ACBD: alpha constriction, beta dilatation. Noradrenaline normally acts on all the four receptors except beta 2. The reason is, noradrenaline is normally released by nerve endings, sympathetic nerve endings, and beta 2 receptors doesn't have nerve innervation. So, noradrenaline cannot act on beta 2 receptors. But, adrenaline is released by adrenal gland into the blood. As it is the hormone released into the blood, it will act on all the receptors. So, noradrenaline predominantly has alpha 1 action only. Alpha 1 action is vasoconstriction. So, there will be rise in blood pressure only. No fall at all. But, adrenaline acts on all the 5 receptors. At lower concentration, it acts predominantly on beta 2 receptors. At higher concentration, it acts predominantly on alpha 1 receptors. So, when you give adrenaline direct IV, the concentration of the adrenaline will be high. At that time, it will act predominantly on alpha 1. So, you will get vasoconstrictor property that is rise in BP. But, after some time, after getting metabolized in the liver, the concentration of the adrenaline will be low. So, there will be only beta 2 action at that lower concentration so you will get fall in BP eventually you will get fall in BP only in adrenaline that's why you prefer noradrenaline instead of adrenaline to maintain blood pressure in septic shock thank you